Okay, so today we'll talk about atrial tachycardia. Basically, atrial tachycardia is a tachycardia that arises in the atrium. It could be the right atrium or the left atrium. And this is one of those supraventricular tachycardia. So, supraventricular tachycardia may be an atrial tachycardia. The mechanism of atrial tachycardia is basically a focus that starts firing electricity and that will take over instead of the sinus node and once that electricity goes to the AV node it's gonna go to the bundles of his and create QRS now since this and this is an atrial rhythm you are gonna see some P wave but that P wave will look different than the sinus P wave so let's say that the sinus rhythm P wave looks like that while atrial tachycardia might either have like let's say a shorter p wave or so and this is one of the ways that you can differentiate if you have a patient who has a previous ekg and then with the sinus rhythm and then you see an svt with a p wave that looks different than the sinus rhythm you can say that this is probably coming somewhere in the atrium but not from the sinus node Another thing to remember about this atrial tachycardia, some physicians call it on and off. So basically, this rhythm has like a sudden onset and all of a sudden it stops. And the patient might go back to normal sinus rhythm. And then the patient might have another bout again and then it stops. And this is what they call an on-off phenomena or... Um, sudden start and sudden ending of that tachycardia since also it's an svt and it goes through the av node so the qrs is going to be narrow unless if there is aberrancy or if there's a bundle branch block where it will be prolonged um, in your exam if this is going to show up it might show up where they would show you someone with a nice P wave doing fine and all of a sudden a patient might have a very short run of a narrow complex tachycardia and the P wave would look different than the usual P wave if they ask you what is this you're gonna say this is atrial tachycardia.